Hey, what's happening, guys? What you're looking at here is the remnants of the lab. I'm currently moving, and this is probably going to be the last video you're going to see from here. I know I'm a little late to the party. Teensies have been out for a few years now, but just decided I might like to try playing with one, so I put it in my uh, Amazon wish list. And a kind viewer named Greg sent it in. So, Greg, thank you so much. I'm going to see what we got here. This is the Teensy 4.0, which I think is the latest version. I'm not quite sure what it could be. Yeah, ignore the stupid ring. I got a gig later. It's my rock and roll clothing. So the Teensy, if you're not familiar with it, is a 32-bit Arduino compatible microcontroller. And they are known for their uh, sound processing abilities. Teensies are not 5-volt tolerant. Do not apply more than 3.3 volts. So keep that in mind, this is a 3.3-volt system. Yeah, man. Oh, and the pins are already soldered. Hot diggity. So there's the teensy. There's a nano to give you kind of a, a size comparison. Same pin spacing. Looks like it's about three pins shorter in overall length. So if we take a look here, if it'll focus, there you can see the processor, the, what does it say, MIMXRT. 1052 I can't really see you guys will be able to see better than me in the camera but this is an arm based processor and I think I read somewhere it's uh 600 megahertz maybe don't quote me on that I'm not I'm not sure anyway we are going to go need to go to pjrc.com slash teensy and get ready to get the stuff we need to get started working with the Teensy. All right, so we are over at the pjrc.com website. It, the uh, address, I'll put it down below, but it's pjrc.com slash store slash teensy40.html. And yeah, I was right. It is 600 megahertz ARM Cortex M7 floating point math, lots of memory, 40 digital input outputs, 31 PWM pins. Yeah, it's just got a ton of stuff with it. So we are going to need the Teensy software. Let's see what it says here. Arduino's IDE software with the Teensy Duino add-on is the primary programming environment for the Teensy. Arduino is installed first, then the Teensy... Teensy Duino installer adds Teensy support to the Arduino IDE. All right, let's check that out. Windows installation. Download and run Windows installer for 7 and up. Download and run the Teensy Duino installer. Okay. We're doing a copy. What's one of the supported versions? Uh oh. Supported versions. Uh oh. This is what I'm using the Windows Store app. Show. We're going to have to download this guy. Kind of 
kind of feel like I already did that. Downloads, downloads. Yeah, who knows? We'll just let it install. And then, and then, we're going to need the Teensy a graphical interface. So where is the Teensy Duino graphical installer? Have to find it. So we are currently installing the uh, correct version of the Arduino IDE and we are downloading the Teensy Duino install so we can get it all going. Okay. So that looks good. Next we need to find the Teensy Duino stuff. And let's run that as an administrator. Alright, install as far as sketches. Windows 10 serial driver found. No installation is needed. Okay. Choose an Arduino location. Good. We'll add all the libraries and let her rip. This is a pretty quick install. It took less than a minute. Okay, run your sketch on the Teensy USB board. Click verify, press push button, click upload. Okay. show let us uh, reopen the Arduino Do -do -do. tools oh there we go board teensy what we have is a teensy 4.0 let's see if we can't uh, plug her in Alright, I plugged in the Teensy. Didn't say it needed any drivers. Port. I guess that's the port. Can we get board info? Try that again. Board info? Nothing. Alright, let's try this. File, examples, Teensy, Do -do -do. Blink, okay, let's make that bigger, LED pin 13, all right, here's what we're going to do, we're going to have our on period last for half second off period also for a half second and then we're going to copy this we're going to do it again and again but on that final delay, it is going to be off for two seconds. Let's verify our sketch.
sketch is almost verified. All right. Press button on the teensy. It says reboot OK. Now do I upload it? I don't know. Let's try it. Upload. Well, I guess we're going to compile the sketch again. Uploading. Done uploading. There we go. And if you look over there at the Teensy, in that little window, you see we get three short blinks and then a long pause. So everything is working just fine. Very cool. I like when things work the first time. I'm often surprised when they work the first time, but I do like it. So that should get you up and running with your teensy and we're going to do a lot more with this once we get to the new place so i look forward to seeing you guys in the new lab and i hope you look forward to joining me there if you enjoyed this video i hope you'll give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons and a big thanks to greg for sending this out that's it I'm out. Peace.